budding agri-small and medium enterprises in Uganda could be lifted out of their financial troubles, but first, they must be bankable. But many of them are involved in value chains that do not make money at all. And they think they're in business, but actually they're not. And they waste so many years. By the time they wake up, they have lost so many years. So our view is that you develop this kind of information, then once you've got the analysis done, then interventions can be geared. Some already in business even admit to not knowing about the availability of such facilities in numerous financial institutions. We've been able to get information that financial institutions have the facility to support entrepreneurs, to support farmers, to support those who are in two value addition, but this seemed not to be clearly well spelled you know, how such opportunities for young entrepreneurs can be well exploited. We finance value addition, then we finance grain trade at affordable terms. There is a Greek loan products on the market, but what we are trying to blow the trumpet about, this is the cheapest, is the best so far. You're talking about interest rate of 12%, maximum loan duration, you're talking about eight years maximum, then maximum grace period, we are saying three years. The agricultural credit facility is